So, you know, I talk about digital products all the freaking time on this channel. I have 10 blue million videos about it here on this channel. And sometimes I think it gets confusing as heck. Um, because, it, it, you know, there are, there are a million different ways to like sell a digital product. There are a million different digital products you can sell. There are a million different ways to create a digital product you want to sell. There's a million different ways to deliver the digital product. And so I think sometimes the process of creating and selling a digital product gets really like muddied up by all the different options. So I'm going to make it super simple in today's video and give you quite possibly the easiest way to sell digital products ever. Hey, howdy, hey, y'all, and welcome back to my channel. I'm so bummed that you're here. It is 2024. We are in a new year. We are doing new things. We are fresh starting it, and it feels good. Am I the only one who loves a new year? I love a new year. I love a new year. I love a new school year. I love a new Monday. I love I love a fresh start. I just love it so much. Okay, so like I said a second ago, I've done a ton of videos about digital products and I'm afraid that sometimes it gets confusing. So we're gonna go super, super simple today. I'm not gonna say like, well, you could do Etsy and you could do WooCommerce and you could do Shopify and you could do Stand Store and you could do this and you could do that. I'm literally gonna just give you the formula where if you want to leave this video, and go create and sell a digital product, you don't have to know much else than what's in this video. Now, if you want all the nitty gritty, like how do you know which digital product is best for you? How to actually create those digital products? The other ways you can sell those digital products, like the strategic things, all of that, that is all in my course, Digi Product School, and I will make sure to leave a link below to that. But in this video, we're going super simple. All right, so first and foremost, you need to have a digital product, okay? You need to figure out what you wanna sell and you need to create it, okay? And again, not what this video is about, but you need to do that. You could totally go with a workbook, a font, some graphics, like a Lightroom preset, whatever you wanna do, whatever you wanna sell, Figure that out and create it. That is step number one and that is what you need before we can go on to anything else and before we can go on to kind of like the easy part. And then the kind of hard part here and I think the confusing part is that you need to find a place to sell it. So number two here is that you need to find a place to sell it. You have to find a place to actually put your digital product up and sell it in some way. And the easy part of this, the easy button answer is Stand Store. Now this video is not sponsored by Stand Store at all. I am an affiliate, so if you click the link below, I will get some commissions. But I truly, truly love this platform and I am someone who's pretty snobby about platforms because I think a lot of times they're like, they're kind of trying to scam people out of money or you could do things easier a different way or whatever, but Stand Store for the price that Stand Store is per month, for the features you get for that, and for the just starting out digital product creator, it is literally got everything you need. All right, so I'm gonna show you how all of this actually works, but if you wanna just get started, if you wanna follow along with me, you can sign up for an account at heyjessica.com forward slash stand store. And again, I'll link that below in the description. But let me explain kind of the basics here. Stand store is going to give you your own store, okay? So you will have a URL that's like heyjessica.stand.store or something like that. Okay, so mine's stand.store slash Jessica Stansberry. So when someone goes to that link, they will see your stand store. Then it kind of shows up like a link in bio system. It is for sure optimized for mobile, but you can go to it on a desktop and it's gonna look pretty and I'll show you that in a second. But this is your store. Inside of stand store, it's, it's up to you what you put in there. But what's really cool about it is that you can deliver the product through Stand Store. You can deliver courses through Stand Store. You can link off to other things that are not products. So like if you have a podcast or something like that, you can link off to that. You can create funnels. And I'm a big believer in funnels, especially with digital products, because that's going to get you more bang for your buck when you're selling your digital products and get your customers more bang for their buck. And I'm a big believer in it. So you can create funnels straight within Stand Store. 
and you can even collect email addresses and things like that in sand stores. So in theory, this could be one tool, like the one tool that you need for your business to start in like the digital product, digital marketing kind of world. You don't need an email marketing system. You don't need a course platform. You don't need a digital product, anything. You literally just need Sandstore because it can do all of those things. Okay, so let's just take a little look at Sandstore and let me kind of show you how things work so you have a better understanding of everything, okay? So when you go into Sandstore, when you are adding products, this is kind of the screen you'll see. You'll be able to sell a digital product, custom product, recurring membership, external links. So that's like I said, if you want to link people to your podcast or whatever, you can do that. Um, an affiliate link to Stan, um, a webinar, an e-course, you can have them book calls in your calendar. So if you're like an online coach or something, that could be really awesome for you. And you can collect emails with a lead magnet. So these are kind of the things that you can put in your stand store. If I go to my store, this is what it looks like. So on mobile, it's gonna look like this and it's a little messy because I don't really use it because I already have other things in place that would take me a long time to like set up and change and whatever. Um, and I've kind of just experimented with stand store to make sure I feel comfortable telling you it's a good option, but this is what it looks like. So basically I have like all my links up here, I can change the design of my sand store. Um, so if I want it to look like that, I can totally have it look like that. Um, here's another one. Let's see, we can do this one here, which looks pretty cool or this one, but you can change this to look however you want it to look. Obviously you can even change the font you want it to have and all of that good stuff. So you can make this look how you want it to look. And then when you're here in this option, this is where you add your products. Once you add a product, you actually tell it everything it needs to know to sell that digital product right here. So if we're gonna sell a digital download, okay? Um, and let's say I want it to be a button and I do not care about the image, but let's just go with that one because you know we're going through this real quick. We're gonna add a text. Um, get the cool digital thing here. Oh, in the button, I can just put like cool thing, get this cool thing here. You only have so many characters, so obviously I wouldn't put that, but whatever. Then it's gonna give me the option to actually create a sales page, which is freaking spectacular. So literally you can put whatever you want on the sales page. Here is the um, kind of editor for it. So if you wanna put a video or a photo or whatever, you can make this look pretty freaking cool for a plug and play kind of thing. You can also use AI to write your sales page, which I also think is pretty cool. Um, and then you can change all the text and things there, okay? Then here you can set the price. Um, you can limit quantity, offer a payment plan, add a discount code, like all of these things. And then you actually upload the file that you want them to be able to download, the thing they're buying, you upload it right here. So when someone goes through this checkout page, they literally get to download the thing as soon as they purchase it from Stan Store. So a lot of times a question, and this is just like an insider tip here, a lot of times a question will be, okay, but my digital product is technically for things or is technically um, something that needs an instruction manual, so they need to download two things or it is something that's too big to upload to things like this or too big to do that with or I want, I'm gonna send them to like a Canva template and that's not a digital download. So the trick there is to create a PDF that has the link off to wherever you need them to go or a video ne you need them to watch or the button to actually download the thing from Dropbox or Google Drive or whatever and upload the PDF as the thing that they get when they purchase. So super easy to do anything here. You can upload the thing itself directly here. So like let's say they were buying a font, you could upload that thing itself directly here. Or let's say again that you were doing a Canva template and you can't just upload a Canva template, you actually have to send them to Canva you would create a PDF, you would link off to that Canva template in the PDF, and then you would um, upload that PDF here. So super easy. Now, you can also go in here to your options, and this is where you can get even more really cool things. So you can um, have reviews. So like if somebody goes to your sales page, they can see reviews from other people who've purchased it. You can put them into an email marketing system, which I highly, highly, highly recommend. Do not ever sell digital products and not collect someone's email address. Like, 
That's a no-no. Um, so I'd highly recommend that. You can do an order bump, which is a sales funnel essentially. So you can increase your cart value of what they're purchasing with this super simple tool here. This is actually fairly new, this affiliate share. So now like if I have a digital product and I want the people who purchase my digital product to be able to then sell it and make affiliate income, I can just do that here. It's super freaking easy. Then there's, you can add a promo video, a confirmation email, you can add, you can link it to other email software. So for instance, for me, I use ConvertKit and I am not willing to move tens of thousands of people from ConvertKit over to something like Standstore. So I could connect the two together um, and then you just hit publish and there it is, super easy. And like I said a second ago, it's optimized for mobile. So you're gonna be able to see the mobile option here, but you can literally just type it in in a URL and then you'll be able to see the desktop version, which isn't bad. Um, I actually think the desktop version works better with like this template than the mobile version, but most people are viewing everything on mobile. So understand that and you can kind of, you know, experiment with that if you will. So literally everything that you need <laughs> to sell a digital product, multiple digital products, build a funnel, all the things are included in Stand Store. You can try it for free for 14 days and it's really only about $30 a month for the creator version and you can upgrade if you need more things, but super, super cost-effective way to sell digital products a thing, a tool that is literally built for you to sell your digital products. You don't have to have this piece and that piece and this other thing. You can literally sell it all through Sandstore and it makes it really freaking easy. I personally would tell you if you are wanting to get started selling digital products and you wanna do it right, you're not just somebody who wants to like create something and throw it up on Etsy and hope that it sells, then this would be the direction I would go if you don't already have something like Shopify or WooCommerce set up for yourself in for other reasons. So like for me, if you're like, oh, well, why don't you use it? It's just because I've been doing this a really long time and all my stuff is set up in another way and I am not about to move it all. Like that's, that's why. Okay. So like I said, I'm not going to move tens of thousands of email subscribers from ConvertKit to Standstore. Like I'm just not going to do that. There's not as many funnels that I can build through Stand Store for email marketing for other products or for other things that I wanna do, right? And then when it comes to my actual digital products and stuff, I sell a lot of those through my own WooCommerce site. We set that up years ago. I am not gonna change that because it works. Don't, you know, it's not broken, so I'm not gonna fix it. But if you are ready to start, this is a really good option. All right, like I say, you can go to heyjessica.com forward slash stand store, or I will link it below in the description. And literally you should be able to leave this video, think of a digital product you wanna create, create it, and then use stand store to sell it and market it and all the things without having to be confused or having other options involved or anything like that. If you have other questions about digital products or stand store or any of it, leave them below in the comments because I want to create what you need answers to. And until next time, bye y'all.